my channel everybody today is a cook with me uh, highly requested cook with me it is my protein banana chocolate chip muffins one muffin is only one point if you go up to two it does bump up to three but if you're only wanting one muffin it is a perfect treat I store these in my fridge they're a quick grab and go breakfast and I do really enjoy them if you can't find some of the items that I use just make sure that it accommodates for the points this recipe makes 12 perfect muffins. It's probably one of my favorite muffin recipes. It is super easy and super simple, and that's what I like. So if you guys want to know how I make these muffins, just stay tuned and watch. The first ingredient will be the Kodiak mix. If you can't find this near you, just find another protein pancake mix. If it equals the same amount of points as the one cup of the Kodiak, then you'll be fine. So one cup of that. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sweetener. You can use whatever you'd like. I'm just using stevia. I'm just going to add in a pinch of cinnamon. I'm using 37 grams of the Lily's Dark Chocolate Chips. Um, you can find these online if you don't have them near you. These ones are the no sugar added. Next, the star of the show is two mashed bananas. I like mine very, very ripe. I feel like this gives it a much sweeter taste. I'm gonna add in half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. You can also use unsweetened cashew milk if you'd like. Lastly, we're gonna add in one egg. I'm just gonna whisk everything until it's all combined. The mixture is all combined. I'm gonna grab my muffin tin and evenly distribute the mixture into the tins. So this is my Epicure non-stick silicone baking um, muffin tin. I really like this because it's no hassle to get the muffins out of the tin. So I'm gonna start off with a tablespoon in each and then go from there. Sometimes it may vary depending on how big your bananas are, but I usually just go in with a tablespoon first and then um, evenly distribute the rest throughout. I have gone through and done a tablespoon and a half in each. Um, now I'm just going and distributing the rest of the mixture into the tins here. All right, so they look as even as possible. I'm gonna pop these into the oven and we'll see you guys when they're all done. Alright guys, so they are out of the oven, they cooled off, and they're ready to eat. So that concludes this cook with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys decide to make these, please let me know down below if you enjoy them. Also, you can tag me on Instagram so I can see how they turn out. They are super delicious, and I really do like them. You can also make them a little bit less points by not adding so many chocolate chips, but I really do like the amount of chocolate chips that I use in mine. So this recipe is really versatile to your preference, and you can change out anything you like to make it your own. If you guys like videos like this, give this a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in my next video.